Good morning, my beautiful scholars. Welcome back to the channel. This morning we're going to be looking at addition and subtraction at the grade 5 level. So I have six problems on the board that we're going to work together. The important thing is for us to make sure to line up the place values. Line up those digits that are in the same place under each other. That's the important thing. So here we have 94,836 plus 28 plus 791 plus 5. Right? So we have... 94,836. The 28, that's two tens, eight ones. We can't put it over here. Some children put it over here. That would be wrong because that would be lining it up under the, the 90,000 and the 4,000, which is incorrect. This is two tens, eight ones. So we have to line up the two under the three in the tens place and the eight in the ones place. Right? 791, so that's 700 under the 100 place, 91. And 5, you can't put it out here or anywhere else. It has to go under the 5 ones. Right? So now you are ready to add. When you have made sure that you line up your digits under the correct place value, then you can go ahead and add. So 6 and 8, 14, and 1, 15, plus 5, 20. So that's two tens and no ones. So we carry the two tens over to the tens place. Because 20, we can get two tens out of 20. 9 and 2, 11, plus 3, 14, plus 2, 16. This is actually 16 tens. Remember, it's a tens place. So it's actually 16 tens from which we can get 100. Because remember, 10 tens make 100. So we carry that over to the 100 place and leave 6 tens. 8 and 1, 9 and 7, 16. 4 and 1, 5 and then 9. Okay? So that's 95,660. It's very important that you line up your place values, line up your digits under the correct place. Right? So 28, two tens, eight ones. The two tens goes under the tens. The eight ones goes under the, the units or the ones. 791, so we line up the seven under the eight. This is 800, that's 700. And the five must go out here, not out here. So once you have that set, once you've, you've, you've lined up, then you're well on your way. All you have to focus on now is doing your calculation properly, your addition properly, right? So number two, if, it, if you prefer, you can put the, the numbers that have the most digits at the top and gradually taper it down. It doesn't really matter though, right? So if it's not an issue with your teacher or with yourself, just go ahead and write the first one first, the second one. But if you want to put the bigger, one, bigger ones at the top than the smaller ones, that's fine. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put, so we have 19,609, 19, 19,619, 325, so it's 3 under the 6, they are both in the 100 place, 2 under the 10s, 5 ones, 325, we have 52, that's 5 tens, 2 ones, <coughs> sorry, and we have 8 ones, so the 8 ones doesn't go out here or here or here, it goes under the ones. And then now we're going to add them up. Now that we have aligned them properly, we can add them up. So 8 and 2, 10, and 5, 15, and 9, 24. That's two tens and four ones. So we carry the two groups of tens with the tens group. 5 and 2, 7 and 1, 8 and 2, 10. 
10 tens make 100 and nothing left back, right? So when we added these, we got 10, but remember it's in the tens place, so that means 10 tens, from which we can get one group of 100 and no tens left. 6 and 1, 7 and 3, 10 again, so that's 10 hundreds, from which we can get 1,000. So we carry that 1 over to the 1,000 place, 9 and 1, 10 again, we keep getting 10s, right? So, 9 and 1, 2, okay? So that's 20,000 and 4. 20,004. Alright, we have one more addition. So we have 7,614. We have 156. Notice we're aligning them up. This is 100, so it goes under the 600. 5 tens, 6 ones. We have 93, which is 9 tens, 3 ones. And we have just one unit here. It goes under the units. So now we add 6 and 4, 10 and 3, 13 and 1, 14 ones from which we can get 1, 10 and 4 ones remain. 9 and 5, 14, 15, 16 tens from which we can get 106 tens remain. 6 and 1, 7 and 1, 8. And we have nothing to add to the 1,000, to the 7,000. So that's 7,864. All right, so let's go now to the subtraction. We're going to make sure we line up again, very important. So we have 2,000 and we're subtracting 1,934. So that's 1,934. When you are subtracting and you have zeros at the top, right? Remember, we can't subtract a number from zero. So we're going to go to the other place value, the nearest place value, and take one group of that place and bring it over, convert it to where we need it. It just so happens that we have three zeros in a, in a, in a row, so we actually need to go all the way over to the thousand place to get one group of thousand. So we take one group of thousand, leave one. We bring it here in the hundred place. Remember, one group of thousand, that's ten hundreds, right? But we still need it here first. So we need to take one from the ten hundreds, that leave nine hundred, bring it here as ten tens, we need to take one ten, one group of ten and bring it there as ten ones, so that we can take four ones from it. So we had to go all the way over to the thousand place, bring that group of thousand, convert it into tens, convert in, into hundreds, convert that one group of hundred into ten tens, Convert that ten tens into that one ten that we took from the ten tens. That one ten we have it now as ten ones. And now we can take four ones from the ten ones. That's six. Three from nine, also six. Well, nine from itself, that's zero. And one from one is zero. You could put the zeros. I don't like putting zeros in the front of numbers. It doesn't change the number. To me, it doesn't look um, doesn't look nice. You know, if it was a decimal, then that's different, right? But for whole numbers, you don't have to put. If it's zeros at the front, just leave them out. If your teacher wants you to put them just to show that you're holding that place because you subtracted and nothing is left, then go ahead and put the zeros. The zeros to the left of a whole number they don't affect the whole number. They don't change the value of the whole number. So here we have 8,620. 
subtract 593. Again, we, can't, we have nothing, no ones at the top to take the three ones. We're going to take one group of 10 from the two tens and change that to 10 ones. The one group of 10 that we took from the tens place, we're converting it into 10 ones. Now we can take the three ones from the 10 ones, so that's seven ones. Now we only have one 10, we can't take nine tens from one 10. We go to the hundreds place, take one out of the hundred place, and carry it there as 10 tens. So now we have 11 tens from which we can take nine tens, which, which leave two tens. 5 take away 5, that's 0. So 500 subtract 500, that's 0 in the hundreds place. And we had nothing to take from the 8,000, so we're left, we still have our 8,000. 8,027. 8,000, no hundred, two tens, seven ones. Finally, we have two operations going on here. I'm going to do a video about order of operations. Now, this, these operations, we can just go straight ahead and work them from left to right because it's subtraction and addition. If, if it involved uh, brackets or if it involved multiplication and division as well as addition and subtraction, then there are particular rules that we have to follow. And you can check the video on order of operation to find out what are those rules. But for here, we can just do our subtraction first, followed by the addition. So we have 286 minus 199. We can't take nine ones from six ones. We take one out of the eight tens, that's seven tens left. Convert that one ten to ten ones. So now we have 16 ones, take away the 9, that's 7 ones left. Can't take 9 tenths from 7 tenths, we take 1 out of that 10, carry it out of, we take 1 out of the 100, carry it as 10 tenths, so now we have 17 tenths, from which we can take 9 tenths, and that leaves 8. 100 minus 100, that's 0. So we have... 87, 8 tens, 7 ones. All right? So the important thing when you're doing addition and subtraction of whole numbers, just remember, you must line up the place values. The most important thing. Line up your ones on all the ones under each other, all the tens under each other, all the hundreds, all the thousands, and so on. And then, just make sure you do your, your actual calculations, right? Your addition. For subtraction, if you end up with a, a larger number at the bottom, you need to go over to the next place value, take one, and convert it to the place that you need. So if you're taking 100, you're bringing it over, right? As 10 groups of 10. And adding it to what was there already, combining it, and then you can do your subtraction. So that's it for addition and subtraction. If you have been helped by the video, don't hesitate, just leave a comment to say thank you miss and share the video so other students may benefit. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel now and if you check the catalog and you don't see the video that you're looking for, just drop a comment and let me know which topic you'd like me to do a video on and I'll do that for you. So my scholars, take care. Remember to practice your math. I'll see you in the next video.